Welcome back to Midnight Spook Show. Um, today we get to decorate outside. Sorry, it's bright. Um, we are finally able to start decorating. Um, I had my finals yesterday, so I could finally allow myself to truly get into the Halloween spirit and start decorating. So I am in my decorating gear. <laughs> I have to run the Lowe's though because um, I bought stuff to brought to like make a prop, and I always forget things, of course. So we're gonna go to Lowe's and then start pulling all the shit out. So here we go. Just wasted a whole 45 minutes of uh, freaking decorating time because the employees there suck. I didn't find a single thing that I needed. And there's no other like hardware stores, places like that around us that would have what I need. So, fuck it. And the lady who, I bought a fire and ice light, but the lady who checked me out and she was like, oh, you really like Halloween, huh? And I was like, well, yeah, cause she was commenting on my purse. And I'm wearing a skull shirt with an orange shirt underneath it. and. She's like, oh, well, you either love it or you hate it. And Halloween is just one of those holidays that I absolutely hate. It's so childish and for kids. And I just wanted to say, like, fuck you, lady. <laughs> but I didn't. I was nice. Paid for my shit and I left. I'm pissed. But I'm going to have to make it work. I don't know uh, how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure something out. This under the stairs is all of my Halloween stuff for outdoors. There's Otis. Uh, he's broken. His legs. <laughs> he broke at the spine. Right there. Um, we got a machete. All kinds of stuff. So we're going to go through this and pull some of it out and see what's actually in these boxes. And I got a helper. She's not supposed to be in the house. <laughs> huh. Say hi, Sam. She is a stray that showed up around Halloween time, um, and she, of course, is named Sam after Sam and Trick or Treat. Hey guys, just giving you a look of what the backyard looks now before we start putting anything up. Coffin, cemetery fences there. This is where we have our bonfire. Um, oops, sorry, Sam. And I pulled some of the stuff out. This is an all. Uh, Joey wants to cut the grass one more time before we fully set everything up. But we got Rot's body, our new prop from Spirit. So, yeah, we're gonna get started. Oh, let's show you the front yard. Um, this is an area too where we decorate. Creepy little wooded area. It's the first thing you see whenever you come out of our front door. And it looks really creepy at nighttime because you can't see anything like back behind there. Um, so, really creepy. Oh, Joey brought my arch out. Uh, Here's the girls. <laughs> yeah, back there. And here's what the front yard looks like before we decorate in the deck. Nothing in the front yard. This is where our trick or treat scene is gonna go and some hay bales and uh, corn stalks and stuff. And then in the driveway, I plan on porting my laser vortex. Simmer down. Here's the casket. I think Joey has it locked, but we forgot to lock it. Um, yeah, it's locked and it's destroyed inside. And here's the cemetery fence. Um, this thing is really shitty, <laughs> but I guess that's the look you go for, right? Like you want it to be old and grungy and that's definitely how it looks 
Um, those were made out of uh, pallets. So, and then we also um, do a little area here. I think Joey wants to do something here this year. Kind of make it look like, I don't know, um, like a pit of some sort from hell. I don't know. like uh, some groundbreakers stuff we put in the cemetery this doesn't go in there but like some flowers we put by the graves candles I've made all kinds of stuff hanging some heads this guy has a whole fucking branch hanging from it <laughs> Sam killed him. They're Sam's victims. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the week of fucking madness. Um, we are six days away from our party. It's Monday. Our party's on Saturday. So, what I thought I would do is make a video for you guys showing you what we do every day leading up to our party. So basically, we are in freaking go mode. <laughs> um, I look like a mess. I'm gonna probably look like a mess all week. Uh, there's just so much shit that's going on that, um, yeah, it's madness. So what I'm doing right now, our fucking tree just fell over. Um, I am trying to get this guy finished today. Um, doing the chicken wire on him so we can finish his frame and then I'm um, going to monster mod him so uh, yeah you'll get to see me working on him for a little bit and we'll go down and check out what Joey's doing
have his body all made and his hands that are going to be painted tomorrow. Some drop cloth and the monster mud. So uh, let's make a mess. I didn't want to scare you while I ha while you have an axe in your hands. <laughs> Ew. Those termites? No. These are ants, but I did see some termites. Termites are mud on him and he is holding his lantern. We have to wait overnight, well probably a couple days actually, for him to dry, but this is um, kind of like the sneak peek of it, I guess. Um, word to your friends. Word of advice to your friends. Friends don't let other friends monster mud by themselves. <laughs> um, monster mud is definitely a two-person project, so I have to thank Joey for helping me. But, yeah, here's him in the middle of being done. The results of Monster Mud. It's on my face, it's in my hair, all over my hands. Yeah, it's fucking messy. guys uh it's tuesday uh sorry for the weird angle i figured this was probably the safest way for me to talk to you and drive so i am on my way home from work right now um <clears throat> we have some stuff to do uh as soon as we get home i am going to work on finishing the reaper um i just have to glue well okay so you saw that i tea stained the cheesecloth last night so I have to go home and um, kind of get wring all the water out of it and hang it to dry but uh, we are also going to work on cleaning up the basement and rearranging it to um, how we're going to have it for the party and then uh, at seven o'clock we are actually meeting um, Kayla and Eric for dinner to talk about some of our upcoming paranormal events uh, that we have planned and future things um, that are in the works currently. And yeah, so just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Um, you'll get to see your entire week. So today is Tuesday. Yesterday I didn't get anywhere near much as done as I wanted to, but that's okay because they were things that could be done other days it's just I try making a list to keep myself on track because if I don't you know I will totally go off track and I don't know about you guys but I love having a physical list that I can scratch things off it makes me feel more accomplished <laughs> so yeah I uh, scratched one thing off of my list and that was monster mudding the reaper um, I think some of the other things that I had on there was you know getting the basement cleaned up which we're gonna do whenever I get home 
and carving pumpkins and we decided we were going to wait and do the pumpkins on Friday night. Um, so yeah, little update for today and I'll keep you updated, um, you know, as I do stuff. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Joey and I were having a conversation last night about how people who don't have Halloween parties and who don't go as crazy out, you know, go out as much as we do, um, as far as like our decorations and getting the house ready. Like, I don't think people realize how much work is actually put into getting ready for a party when it's this involved. Um, I just hope people appreciate it. <laughs> That's my biggest concern. I hope people appreciate it and I hope um, people have fun because I would hate to be one of those people who, you know, you host a party and then afterwards you hear people say, oh, well, that was kind of shitty or boring or, you know, whatever, but I do what I can. So I'll keep you updated. So it is Wednesday now. Um, last night we cleaned up the garage. I will show you. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. Hung that up and put some pumpkins with this little skeleton guy. He glows in the dark. <laughs> um, and we moved all of whites out of here and these are where the girls are we're gonna probably collapse those and put those back but we just opened room and this table is gonna come over here for people to play flip cup or beer pong whatever um, and Joey got our creepy girl hung up she doesn't fucking work anymore and this little thing so I'm um, just cleaning up a little bit more down here the stuff off the table and probably adding a few more decorations and that's where we stored them some things so yeah um, today starts my first day of vacation I'm taking Thursday Friday and then Monday off um, so I got a lot to do tonight tomorrow and Friday to get ready for the party don't mind the messy table but um, I just wanted to show you some things that we got in the mail. We got Joey a Camp Crystal Lake pin. Um, and I got the Sam pin. And then I also ordered a pair of contacts. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but they like black and white to go with my costume. Um, and then Joey was very sweet and he picked up a new Dremel for me because the other one is about to die and I have been missing like a lot of the parts that came with it and the little attachment things. Um, and then I stopped today, picked up some candy, I'm going to use some of it in my costume and then I made some printouts of... Um, some costume like makeup ideas and stuff like that. Um, I really like these certain makeup ideas. Really like this one. So to go with my candy demon costume. Um, so yeah, just going through and figuring out what I need to get done for my costume today. We'll see if these, any of these actually turn out the way that I was hoping. <laughs> um, I haven't been doing makeup in a really long time. I used to do special effects makeup all the time, but I just don't really have time for it anymore. So I'm very out of practice as far as my makeup goes, but whatever. <laughs> sticks in the yard over here and Joey's just burning those. This is kind of what it will look like at the party.
That looks so cool. Friday now. Um, I am on my way to run a bunch of errands. I have to go get the groceries for the party, stop at the liquor store, get gas, go to the post office. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on today. Um, it's the day before the party and I'm officially in fucking freak out mode. So, um, yeah, I actually have gotten a lot done over these past couple of days. I didn't film at all yesterday because I was literally busy all day, just nonstop. Um, but it was worth it because it got done. And I think, you know, every year I'm gonna start taking two days off to prep for the party. Uh, mostly one day to clean really well and like finish any decorating and last minute things. And the next day to prep food. So that's today, I'm prepping food all day um, for tomorrow at least as much as I can, so. I just left the post office and I ended up sending out, I think I went over my limit by like 15. So 40 cards I've sent out. Some of them I had stickers on them that like have the little foam pieces behind it. So it would make it hard for it to pass through a machine. But out of the 40 cards, I just went and had two others in my post office box um, saying that I needed to add extra postage, which is fine. That's not a problem. But she made me pay extra postage on all the other cards that I was sending today, which is also fine. But I've sent like 30 other cards of the exact same type with the same type of stickers and none of them had come back other than two. Sorry, so yeah, like if you guys got a card from me and it didn't have a Halloween stamp on it, I'm sorry. I tried. Um, it's been a while since I've sent cards, but I didn't think that it would be that big of a difference. And the only reason why she charged me more and why you won't have a Halloween stamp is because she said that they couldn't be passed through the machine. So because they can't just go through a machine, whether it weighs an ounce or less or not, you still have to pay extra money. So in that case, I said, well, I've sent all these other cards, you know, what's going on with that? She said what might have happened is that whenever you received your card, you would have had to pay the extra postage. So if that happened to you, I am so sorry. Like I, I went into the post office a couple times and I think it was depending on who was working. Some of them would just let it go and others wouldn't. So if you got one of your cards and it said that extra postage, which extra postage was needed, I am truly sorry. Um, I will know now for the future just to take all of them in because some I just like threw my mailbox and let my mail guy pick it up, but. Others, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But, just a little side note, little apologies. Uh, I just checked the weather for our party tomorrow. This is by far the best weather that we are having for our party. Um, oh, speed bumps. Ugh. Normally it's raining or snowing or it's extremely cold or it rained all day and then it's nice and swampy in the yard for when we're going uh, to start our party. Sorry, lots of speed bumps. Um, but tomorrow's weather, the high is 75 degrees, which is crazy. And uh, the low is 58 degrees, which is perfect for sitting around the fire and no chance of rain at all until like after midnight maybe. So I am so excited. Um, although there have been years where I didn't think anybody was going to show up because it was raining or snowing and uh, the one year that we had our biggest party, good lord, sorry, they're doing construction on this little road here. Um, it snowed and everybody still showed up, so yeah, it will be interesting. We have a lot of new people coming to our party this year that have never been, um, 
and some people who, you know how it goes, they say they're going to show up and then they don't, which is okay. Um, it just makes me appreciate anybody who does show up and, you know, I hope everybody has a good time. That's what you work for. So yeah, lots to do. I stopped at, uh, to get gas. So I'm in Joey's car today. Um, stopped and got gas, stopped at the post office. I'm at the bank right now, stopping at the liquor store, and then three different grocery stores. Because not all of them have the things that I need, so. Woohoo! Well, it is now 6.14, and the kitchen is a freaking mess. Because I am making our Halloween goodies. Um, right now I am in the process of making some pumpkin dip. Um, I already made some jello shots, the cheese ball, we're having pepperoni rolls. Um, yeah, so moving right along. I'm trying to get as much done as I can. This stuff won't take long, but baking usually takes me a little while. I am just running around getting some last minute stuff. Um, the guy next to me just sneezed blood all over the inside of his windshield. Gross. Um, probably more than you wanted to know. But um, I was up until 1 o'clock last night or 1.30, I don't know, 2 o'clock, whatever. Um, finishing baking and cooking for all the food. Um, I'm playing hooky from school today. There was nothing going on in class today anyways. And he's one of those teachers that just reads PowerPoint presentations. So I'm not really missing out on anything at all. Yeah, I'm pulling onto my road pretty soon here. And there's a dead possum in the middle of the road. I got to come down and get it out of the way. It's like literally right in the middle of the road. So we got to figure something out, but I got some balloons because today's my mom's birthday. Also, we are going to release some balloons for her. And here's that possum. Poor thing. Ugh. Um, the paper lady probably fucking hit him. We'll be releasing balloons and just doing all the last minute stuff that I should have done months ago, but you know, I like to be as perfect as I can as far as my my Halloween stuff goes. And sometimes time just does not allow that. We haven't even carved our pumpkins yet. So, yeah. Happy Hallow fucking Ween. Ready to carve our Halloween pumpkins. I have them all behind me. I ended up getting two more for our Halloween party to make a project into, but I didn't have time to do it. So I'm gonna carve four of them, or five of them, and Jerry's gonna carve one because he hates carving pumpkins. He just does it because I love it. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to gut them. He's at the gym, he will be coming home soon. And yeah, it's here guys. The day that we wait for all year round. So um, I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. You're doing your, Halloween things that you've been planning for all year round. So I just wanted to share a little bit with you how we celebrate Halloween. This Halloween was a little bit different for us because last night we did do a paranormal investigation of um, the inn and we didn't go to bed until six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so there was uh, a lot of stuff that didn't happen today that we would normally do, but um, we made the best of it, so I am getting ready to carve our pumpkins, and I'm going to make some dinner, and we're watching some horror movies, and just relaxing.